morning, DBS family. It is Tuesday and I know some of you are still holding on to those weekend mawes. It's time to let them go. We are setting into the week. Monday was the test, but Tuesday we are on our game and we're setting off to get every, everything done. So I hope you guys are ready to kick off today's show. You know we're waking you up in the know with our morning news highlights. And that's a wrap for our morning news highlights. In case you're just joining us, don't worry, you could always get up to date with our midday and evening newscasts. So guys, we have a great show coming up for you today and we're checking in with some local talent. So I hope you're ready for that. We'll be right back after this break. family we are here in serenity park with a young man that i came across on facebook actually i saw you putting out your music video content and it really stopped me in my tracks to see that we have young people in saint lucia putting out content that you would not really find conventional with our local music scene so good morning to you and let me just give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to our viewers so i go by the name of baby d boy um I'm a rap artist. Um, I love music, yeah. And I'm hoping that one day I could put Senush on the map in rap music, get our name out there, you know, travel the globe, touring, interviews and stuff, yeah. All right, and what better place to get that start than right here on DBS? You know, when we give that DBS endorsement, people tend to go very far with it. All right, so with the viewers watching, I mean, we might see the baby face, but how old are you and how long have you been doing music? Um, I'm, s I'm 18 and I've been doing music for seven years now. This year will make it seven years. Oh, wow. Okay, so at 11 years old then 11 11 years old if the maths is mathing this morning all right so at 11 years old what inspired you what really got you to decide yeah this is what i want to do because you've kept to it for so long so you obviously have a passion for what you're doing so what got you into rap music well from ever since i was a kid um i grew up around a lot of music a lot of dancehall music Mostly Danzo at the time, but then I got introduced to Eminem, you know, Tupac, Biggie. And from that time, I just fell in love with rap music. And I studied how they did it and how they came about. And yeah, I said, you know what, that's what I want to do. And from that day, I've just been, you know, working on, what I, working on my craft, trying to better my craft. You know, like they say, practice makes perfect. Yeah. All right, so... When you're sitting there, whether with your, your notepad, your iPad, whatever you write your songs down on, um, where do you draw your inspiration from? I know a lot of artists, it's like things they interact with in their everyday lives or situations they may have witnessed and stuff like that. So where do you draw your inspiration from with your music? Well, for me, um, I write based on how my day is going. So if I'm walking in town and something happens, I'll try to remember it or put it down in my phone, my notepad on my phone. So any event that happens throughout the day, I will keep track of it. And then when I go home, I'll look for instrumental and I'll just write based on that. All right. So, I mean, it's so amazing to see how you're putting out your content and then you have your... I guess they're your friends in the music videos if you're really giving you that support and you know you have your team i noticed there's a consistent team you have in your music videos so what would you say to you know young men like you out in saint lucia who are maybe looking for that opportunity or looking to maybe start something similar with their friends um what would you say to them in terms of how to get started with something like that? Well, to get started, um, try to study the other artists, see what the music is about, you know, um, try to discover your genre, your type of genre, your type of music, 
and um you know there are a lot of rap coaches out there on youtube you could learn how to you know write verses how to freestyle rap how to write rhymes how to write punchlines wordplay you can you can learn from them and you could also learn from guys who has been doing that for many years um and also just take a notepad write down any song maybe you could write a song based on my name is this my name is that you know just get to it just start it all right, I feel like Just Do It has been a consistent theme here on DBS this morning. Every time we ask how to start something, just do it. So maybe that's your push today to actually just hop into something that you've been thinking about for a long time. All right, guys, you know, I have to make a shameless plug here because although we may seem new to each other, this is somebody I have known for a very long time from the days where we both were the Carmen Rene Memorial School uniform. You know, we have to say the full name here. So I think according to my memory, you might have been a little bit troublesome back in the day. So what about now? Is the music keeping you out of trouble? Um, well... Yeah, you could say that, yeah, because I've been inside working a lot, writing a lot of music and stuff, yeah. So it's kind of keeping me out of trouble. Also sports as well. Sports is one too. Keep me out of trouble. All right, we love a multifaceted king. So what kind of sports do you engage in? Football and basketball. All right, we love to see it. So maybe we might see, you know, a sports song coming out soon, a little push for our local teams when they're looking for their songs, when they're going out into the nationals, regionals, and international games for them to conquer. All right. So before we wrap up for this interview, I just want to let the viewers know where they can access your content. I know I've already expressed that I've been impressed with the type of music and the quality of content that you've been putting out, especially with your lyrics. Like, I think when people take their time and they listen into what you're saying, there's very strong messages there. So where can people access your content? You could access my content on YouTube at Baby D Boy YS. Together, capital B, capital D, capital YS. You can also access, access it on my Instagram account, real underscore baby underscore D Boy. And also on TikTok at D underscore motivation underscore YS. All right, guys, so, you know, head over to TikTok, especially. I hope you're following us on TikTok as well. Yes, DBS is on TikTok. All right, guys, we're wrapping up with D-Boy. Let's just get him to give you guys a final good morning. <laughs> good morning, viewers. Once again, thank you for the interview. Thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Good morning DBS family and welcome to another episode of DBS's Lookbook and I'm your girl Vanessa Henry Long, your certified image consultant and personal stylist. Today we're here to speak about personality styles and I did bring to you in the last episode a few of the various personality styles that you can identify with. Just to recap, personality styling has a lot to do with your personality and your character which is being demonstrated through your aesthetic choices or the way you would dress. So let's go straight into it. I am here to speak about the romantic personality style and this individual if you identify with such a style you are the most soft-spoken the most romantic as the name says the most emotional individual and of course one who has at heart just the natural tendency to want to create big gestures as a romantic you will like things a certain way as a romantic person, you tend to be emotional. For you, it's about caring and being considerate of others. You can well appreciate that when you speak to someone who is a romantic. For them, their choice of words is very important. They think about you as the end goal in mind. But let's, let's wheel back to personality styling and how you can identify if you are a romantic personality so let's say 
your hairstyles. For the ladies and even for the gents, romantic individuals love their hairstyles in a manner that, that speaks to a bit of glamour, but not too much high fashion and too much drama. For example, they love curls, anything to do with curls, anything to do with hairstyles that are a bit more on the over the top side, but with curls for sure. They love, love, love hairstyles with curls. For the ladies, as it relates to your colors, anything that has to do with a bit of pink, a bit of burgundish, and of course, even colors that may look more on the romance. We know the romance colors the pinks, the reds, these are the go-to colors as it relates to the hair color choices that you would go for. Let's think about your makeup as a personality style for a romantic. The ladies, you will love anything to do with sequins. Let me tell you, for your makeup, you want your eye makeup to have sequins and you want your lips to be pink if not pink maybe a bit of gloss or anything that is reflective of a color like pink and red now let's also look for the gents i know maybe the gents you may think in of course you will not wear makeup but what about your grooming your general grooming for a romantic man you would take very much pride in the way that you groom yourself so for the men and the women you would like colors like pinks yes the men with romantic men would wear pink you would wear colors like any pastel color, like the corals. You would wear colors like mint green. You would wear any soft color, nothing loud, nothing over the top. But white is one of your favorite colors. As a romantic, you would enjoy rocking white with any other color. As it relates to the materials that you would wear, romantic individuals love materials that are soft, like silk and lace oh yes romance right lace and and silk and even cotton too you can go for cotton and linen any soft materials is your go-to material so if you re recognize that you can identify with any of the things that i've mentioned earlier you may most likely be a romantic now one of the things that romantics love they love their perfumes as a romantic man or a romantic woman you can appreciate a good signature scent let me tell you romantics love smelling good they love looking good and of course they love to ensure that they make people feel very comfortable so for the romantic man or woman you enjoy having amazing accessories like what i'm wearing right now you always ensure that you are feeling comfortable wherever you go but of course with a bit of glamour and a bit of romance so remember that guys if you are a romantic person you will enjoy anything to do with making people feel comfortable grand gestures anything that is very soft nurturing emotional colors like pinks pastel for the ladies you love your pearls for the men you enjoy your fragrances and the women as well anything that has to do with a grand romantic time this is go to for you so i hope you enjoy this segment of personality styling and that you can identify whatever style that works best for you and is in tune with your personality this may just well be you so hoping to see you next time on another episode of tbs's lookbook as i will be bringing to you more personality styling <music>
Hope you check out too flimsy like mine next to fall along and brace your tail. You're going to sit down. So you can call that a slight incline to the chest area. Make sure you hold the bar or the broomstick, your body width, and you're pressing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that exercise, we're targeting the shoulders. So next exercise for the shoulders again. I'm going to stay in front, sit up straight, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Boom. That's one exercise for shoulders. So remember, again, if you want to build four sets of four to six, if you want to tone eight to ten, ten to twelve, or if you want to get ripped, twelve to fifteen, fifteen to eighteen. So I just showed you all a shoulder exercise. Now we're going to do the back exercise. We're going to hold it wider. It in the seated military press. So targeting, it in the shoulders, but the main muscle working out is the back. Make sure your elbows don't keep it straight there. Make sure it's slide bent, slide down. And wait in the back area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ensure that you, when you're doing this exercise, you do not come and hit behind your neck area. That's very dangerous. You need to protect yourself. Control it and keep it at a low pace, right? So that was a back exercise. So the next one we're going to do for back now, go to slightly bend forward, slightly extend it out and pull towards your upper chest, neck area. One, two, three, four. See my wrist, I'm not bending. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. So, two exercises for the back. Just sitting in your living room or in your balcony watching TBS, exercising. So now, so we have already done shoulders. We have already done back. So I'm going to show you a bicep exercise. Again, seated. Your bicep area to your side. Make sure it's locked in so no daylight can pass through. And you curl. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Notice when I'm doing the bicep curl, I'm not bending my wrist or coming all the way over. I'm coming up. When I feel my bicep area tight, I'm stopping there and come back down. So that's one for bicep. The second for bicep, lean forward like a preacher curl. Make sure your elbow fits in the crevice of your knee area and you curl. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent, guys. Good job. So we have already hit the shoulders, the back, the bicep. Now let's hit the triceps now. Again, make sure you position your elbows in front of you. And then you're going to press up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Easy. And for the other one, you're going to bring the bar behind you, chest out, and you're simply pressing back. One, squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, guys, it's quite simple, not rocket science. We're going to hit the chest now. So, you're going to hold the bar, your broomstick, whatever you're holding, slightly close in front. You have your bicep area squeezing your chest, bust area, and you're pushing out and squeezing. One, two, Ooh. three, mm -hmm. four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, I felt that one. Simple chest exercise. One, another chest exercise. You hold whatever you're using in front of you 
and you're pressing out. One, two, three, four, ooh, five, six, seven. You can see the pressure in my chest. Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. So we hit the shoulders, the back, the bicep, triceps, the chest. And all these exercises, remember I'm telling you all, suck in your core. So your core has been worked out. Last but not least, we're going to do the legs. Chest out, we're going to just raise the legs. One, and control it down. Two, toes pointed forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Properly controlled, you're feeling that exercise in your legs. And last but not least for legs, you can stand up and still use your chair and do some calf raises. One, two, three, four. Don't let your heels touch the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So St. Lucia, this was a total body workout. You understand? If you take your time, you breathe properly, and you hold whatever you're using, you have the correct form, you're going to execute what you're doing quite efficiently. Remember, it's you, how bad you want it. Remember, you can't just come to the gym and just work on cause. Your core, core starts from in your kitchen, what you put in your kitchen. And then when you come to the gym, we take it from there. Remember, it's Bullsfield Lifestyle, powered by DBS, telling you all, good morning. I'm out. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today's show, and it is officially the start to your day. So consider this an invitation. What is happening with my mouth this morning? Consider this an invitation. Maybe it should be an invitation to take things slow today, as I should be doing right now. So let's slow it down a bit, take things as they come, and ensure that we are very detail-oriented in getting our duties done today, because doing things right the first time will save you from having to do them over and save a lot of time. So keep that message with you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>